Hey you guys, welcome back to KPAR 780. We're getting into Vlogmas and we are in the Christmas season and I am so excited. I love this time of year. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are with me. Get cozy, get comfortable because we are gonna talk about some red lipsticks. And I know I did a red lipstick video in the past, but I just wanted to give an update on some of the red lipsticks because I know a lot of ladies love red and love to wear red. Um, so we're just gonna get into the, some shades of some red. I think I even have a few burgundies, some dark colors. So I pulled as much as I could um, from my red collection. I'm gonna get through those as quickly as I can but I just wanted to show you guys some red shade lipsticks and then you guys can see which one you like the best. So grab your glass of wine or grab your cocoa or whatever you're drinking and let's get to it. So I'm gonna put my shades on because I have to read some of these labels. So I hope that's okay. All right, so here we go guys. All right, so I'm gonna start out, I guess with Ruby Woo. Now you guys know this is MAC and this is a retro matte color. And so, I mean, before you do this lipstick, you guys know you have to condition your lips before you do Ruby Woo because it is really drying and it is really, it's a bright red and it's very drying. But most of all, I mean, it's a really pretty color, but you must condition your lips and like do some overnight treatments if you really want this lipstick to perform because it can be drying, it can start flaking, make your lips chap, but Ruby Woo is a great color. So I'm just gonna show you right here. Look how bright that red is. That is a really bright red, but it is a very popular classic red with MAC, with MAC. So a lot of people have that red and it is awesome. Um, another color I have here, let's see. This is one of my favorites, because this is in my collection. So this is the Riri Mac collection. I don't know if you guys ever remember this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish, oh, I wish they would bring back some of these older colors that they had. Pleasure Bomb, I never got a chance to get into that because I wasn't doing a lot of makeup at the time. But I know with this collection or around the time that Rihanna was doing a lot of MAC stuff, she did Pleasure Bomb. So this is MAC's um, Rihanna version of Ruby Woo. It's the same color, but this is Rihanna's version and I've been using this, I didn't want to. Her logo is in there, but this is so pretty. And it's the same thing. And that's Ruby Woo, but this is in the Rihanna collection. So I got that and that is a collector's item. So I don't care if this thing like falls off. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of this one. This one's staying with me. And I just love the packaging on this. So that was Rihanna's. I'm sure some of you probably already have that one. That was a good collector one. And then there's Russian Red. I don't see it in here right now. I know I pulled it, but I don't see it. It was Russian Red. And then here's one right here, another one of my collections. Um, it's Mind Control. And this one's from the Brooke Candy collection. And I really like this red because it's not matte and it has a little bit of, you know, sheen to it. Um, it's an amplified cream. So this is really nice because it doesn't get dry on you. You see that sheen compared to the other two? So that's a really nice red. And that was from the Brooke Candy collection. But this is a really good red too. I just love reds. I love the pinup style, the pinup look. So I love red, I really do. I mean, it makes your teeth look whiter when you're on camera and you're smiling, you know, when you're taking pictures and you're in public. So always remember red is just gonna, you know, it's really pretty. Um, okay, so we did that one. I'm gonna turn away from MAC for a minute and I'm gonna show you the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit because a lot of those MAC ones, they were like $22, $23 for the collectors. Um, this one right here, I believe I pay like six, six fifty for this. And this is the Wet n Wild um, Missy and Fierce 93OB if you ever see this. So you can get this from like CVS or 
I don't know if Walgreens sells it. Um, I think Target might have it too. Some of those chains. But this color is really pretty. And I remember this about a year ago or so. I got this one, but look at this red. It's a really pretty red as well. Highly pigmented. All these are really highly pigmented. And so that's what I love about it most is you don't get that translucent look where you have to put like a million shades on to get it. So that is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And I love that. And that's by Wet n Wild. I mean, I've been using Wet n Wild since I was like 12, right? Like most of us have. Okay, so that's awesome. And then, okay, we're gonna move along to Black China's Cherry Bomb. So she has a lot of these colors that are out. Her pa packaging is pretty basic, but I mean, you know, she kept it, she kept it just simple in her packaging. It smells good. It has like a slight fragrance to it. It's pretty thick and this is pretty shiny. I mean, this right here reminds me of like patent leather. I'm, I'm serious. This is bright red. Look at that. It doesn't dry matte, not this one. I think she has some newer collection ones that dry matte, but this one right here, this reminds me of red patent leather. If you ever seen like a red patent leather skirt or shoes or something, then this, this is what this reminds me of. But it has a nice smell to it. It's really, really bright. That's a really, really bright red. And it's really shiny too. So if you're looking for a nice shiny red lip, and you don't want to do the matte, you know, thing, then this one right here, the one by Black China called Cherry Balm, that one is really light. And it's nice, and it has a slight fragrance to it. Okay, I really love this red, and I think I like this red because um, it has shimmer to it, and I know last year there were a few companies, one I'm not gonna name, but there was a few companies that did the red and they did like the pretty Christmassy red with a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, this one right here is Madly in Love. So, and this one is the Metallic More Lip Creams by Milani. And I really like this color. I really, really do. This color is really pretty. It's not really bright, but I mean, it kind of is if you see that. But it, it's kind of like a pinky red. Can you see the difference? In those reds, it's kind of like a pinky red color. And I think a lot of that too is because it has a lot of shimmer in it. So it's not, you know, it dries matte, pretty matte. Um, it kisses off a little bit, but it's a really pretty bright red color. So I really like this color by Milani. Madly in love. Okay, hey you guys, welcome back. So my battery died and it took forever for me to get it charged. I couldn't find my other one, so I'm back. So I was like, hey, why don't I just change rooms too and then add some reindeer ears? So here I am. Okay, I still have my glasses on. So, all right, so back to it. So I wanna show you guys the ColourPop Hello Kitty and this was an ultra metallic lip right here. So that's what this is. And then I'll show you guys the color of it. And it's kind of like a cranberry red it's not as bright, that's Ruby Woo right there. And this is the ColourPop Metallic Hello Kitty Collection Red. So that's the Hello Kitty ColourPop one. Okay, and then this right here, this is from the MAC Wash and Dry Collection. Some of you might remember that one there. And that was like the beginning kickoff of Summer Collection right there. And I like this red, this is more of an orangey red color. So I'll put it next to Ruby Woo so you can see. And it's not really deep or dark, but that's what that is there. It's like an orangey red and it's a satin. So it's a satin finish. So it's not gonna be really glossy like that amplified color, but that's from the wash and dry collection. And that color is called Steam Heat. So that was Steam Heat. And that was a neat collection from MAC. Okay, so I have one from Melt and I believe this is the first color that they ever put out. I could be wrong, but I think this is the first color that Melt Cosmetics put out. And this is Belladonna 2. 
and I love this color right here. And this reminds me so much of Ruby Woo because it is a matte red. And again, you have to condition your lips to wear this red because it is so drying. I'll put it next to Ruby Woo. I mean, see how hard that is to get on? But if I take like a, it's really pretty though. It's really pretty red. Like, don't even think twice about this red. Like this is, this is really pretty when it gets on. You have to use like a sheen or maybe even a little coconut oil or something to get this on to rub on your lips. But once this, once this is on there, I mean, it's a really pretty color. And that's uh, Belladonna 2 by Melt Cosmetics. It's, it's really pretty. But again, it's hard to get that color to show up if your hand or your hands dry or your lips are dry. Um, you're gonna wanna condition it to get that color on. Okay, so what I'm wearing now, and I'll just show you guys, and before my battery died in my camera, is I'm wearing Rihanna's Stunna Lip Paint. So I don't know if it's called Uncensored or Stunna, but it's a really pretty color, and that's what this is. And I've had it on for like two hours now, and it has not, like, it hasn't went anywhere. I think the last video I did, um, I did a Get Ready With Me, and I put it on, and it's been on since then. So it's doing good. All right, and this one right here, let me show you guys, SMLC10, whatever that means. It's called Monte Carlo, and this is NYX. And this is a pretty color too. This is a really dark, deep red, if you can see that. Oh, I got the other side of my hand. That's Monte Carlo right there. And that's a deeper color. This does not dry matte or it doesn't it doesn't it's not kiss proof i guess you want to call it so um if you're eating drinking kissing whatever it's gonna come off um so yeah that's not gonna dry and stay on it might stain a little bit but it's not it's definitely not gonna stay on all night okay this collection right here is the chris chang i love this collection right here it was kind of pricey i remember that about it but look at that packaging, it is so pretty. It was really detailed, Chris Chang. Here's the color right here. It was like a really orangey red, if you can see that. Sorry about my hand, that's from the last one I swatched. But this is like an orangey red, and I'm just gonna swatch that. See that, how bright that is? It's right there, and that's like an orangey red color. So it looks red but it's really orangey, but it's a pretty color. So that's the Chris Chang one. All right, and Sugar Pill Cosmetics, I remember it took forever for them to come out. I don't know if it was like a year, year and a half, or it might've been longer. I don't know, but I waited forever. And then here's their um, lipstick right here. And they were selling it at shows and stuff, but they weren't releasing it to the public for like a long time, I guess until they had enough in stock or I don't know, so they had it all together. But it looks like a little, oh, almost dropped it. It looks like a little pill. It's so cute. And it smells good. And this color is called Nurse. And it has their logo on it. And that sugar pill. I don't know what happened to it but it smells good. And I have a few other other colors like Euphoria, which is like a blue, green, and um, there's, another, there's a few other colors. And I think they've came out with more stuff. So that is Sugar Pill Cosmetics, a little glittery case, super cute. And then Nurse, let me swatch that for you. You found a spot, I'm running out. And it's matte. A matte finish. It's a really pretty lip color. I like that. And that's Nurse. I have a ton of reds. I just have I have so many reds. <laughs> okay, and this one is the Max Alito collection. Now this one was in my purse and it was supposed to be white and it died. Like, I don't know what kind of material they used to make the packaging, but it, it got kind of, you know, kind of died. But I got backups for this one because this one is 
so pretty this color right here let me show you guys that is toledo and i don't it's like a blue red so that's like a blue red color really pretty and it's matte and it's called victoriana so that's victoriana right here so you can see all the different shades of reds that they have it just depends on what you like if you like a matte finish if you like a satin finish if you like an amplified glossy finish um there's so many to choose from actually this is going into our more burgundy colors and it's called dark side that right there see that so that's pretty it's like a maroon getting a little bit darker in the reds but I love the packaging on this it's Mac I can't remember the name of it sometimes some of them there you know the words are written on it or it tells you what it is sometimes some of them it's not on there but okay moving on and here is another one right here from the Mac collection they do so many releases it's not even funny but that's like a glittery shiny packaging right here and this color is called rebel which is an oldie but goodie and this is a satin finish and i think i purposely wanted some of these permanent collections in the um in the special packaging just because it's rare and you can't get it anymore but that's rebel and I know a lot of people will use Rebel. It's like a purple, purpley color, purple red. But yes, a lot of people use Rebel and it's been around forever. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Melt again and show you guys Dark Room because we're in the maroon. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you Dark Room. And this color first came out and the owner showed this color and I believe it was for her wedding and that's what it was for in Melt Cosmetics Company. Um, it was just gorgeous. And it's like an eggplant color. And this is one of my favorites. And that, see how close that is? That looks just like Rebel, doesn't it? It looks just like Rebel. But it isn't. This is Dark Room by Melt. And it's just, it's a beautiful eggplant color. I love that color. That's one of my favorite lipsticks is Dark Room. Just fell in love with it when I saw it. Okay, so I have one more and this is Cherry Skies. And this is NYX. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. And this dries nice and matte on the lips too. And it's called Cherry Skies. Isn't that pretty? So if you're kind of wanting a red, but you want something deep and dark, this color right here, that'll give you that darker red color, kind of maroon, kind of red beautiful color. NYX made some really good colors when they did the liquid lipsticks. I mean, I know it's not, you know, department store or anything. I know some people like, you know, higher quality or whatever, but I buy whatever is pretty. It can be a dollar. It can be 20, 30, $40. But, <laughs> but I mean, they really did a great job making this liquid lipstick right here because they have so many shades and they stay and they're really nice and they don't make your lips chap so kudos to nyx the liquid suede lipsticks because i mean and they're affordable i think they're what like six bucks or something six eight dollars um but these are the bomb right here just amazing but these are the colors of the lip, liquid lipsticks I have. I took a few off because my battery died in my camera. So um, if you guys want to go back to the beginning of the video and see the ones that I had previously um, that I showed you before, um, be my guest and look at it and watch the video again. But thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you being here. Come back. Happy holidays, guys. And I'll see you next time.